feel like most creative art forms have been hijacked by the internet and by high consumerism. Now, because you have your 15 minutes of fame on social media, you have to come up with different ways of monetizing that fame and not the actual product that you spent, you know, your hard earned money and time and effort to create. It doesn't make any sense. I will not be paid for any of those streams. Isn't that insane? If you are a musician, you should be able to make money from the music that you create. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Omar Funi. I'm an independent singer songwriter. And on this channel, I basically take you behind the scenes on my journey as an independent musician. And today we are going to be talking about James Blake's viral tweets about the music industry that everybody I know has been posting about. If you're an independent musician or if you follow James Blake, then you've probably seen these tweets and there's a lot of value in what he's saying. So he goes on to say, Something I keep seeing is, if you're lucky enough to go viral, just use the exposure to generate income some other way. Musicians should be able to generate income via their music. Do you want good music or do you want what you paid for? If we want quality music, somebody is gonna have to pay for it. Streaming services don't pay properly. Labels want a bigger cut than ever and just sit and wait for you to go viral. TikTok doesn't pay properly and touring is getting prohibitively expensive for most artists. And by the way, since it's cheaper to produce fast synthetic music to drop on streaming every week to capitalize on the strengths of the model, watch how the model is preparing you for AI generated music that pays musicians nothing at all. Okay, let's unpack this. When he says, if you're lucky enough to go viral, just use the exposure to generate income some other way, Musicians should be able to generate income via their music. I completely agree with James on this point. Imagine if you designed a product and spent so much of your time and your money and your effort to create this product, and then you go on social media and create a post about it to promote it, and then all of a sudden, everybody gets this product for free, everybody has access to it, and now, because you have your 15 minutes of fame on social media, you have to come up with different ways of monetizing that fame and not the actual product that you spent, you know, your hard earned money and time and effort to create. It doesn't make any sense. If you're a doctor, you make money off of treating people. If you are a lawyer, you make money off of defending people in court. If you are an athlete, you make money for being an athlete and playing sports. If you are a musician, you should be able to make money from the music that you create, and that is not happening. I feel like most creative art forms have been hijacked by the internet and by high consumerism. And my biggest problem is that there are so many incredible musicians that the world will just never hear about because they're just not good at marketing themselves and nobody is willing to kind of back them up like a record label or an agency. Nobody's willing to back them up and their talent because nobody knows who they are. Like record labels now expect you to come with a following if you are to be signed. And if you are independent and you don't know how to promote yourself, your music is not gonna go very far. Trust me, I know. It really sucks that we have all kind of become prisoners of social media and I honestly, I'm not a fan of TikTok. I'm not a fan of being on social media to begin with. Like I enjoy creating content to kind of, and I even hate that word content. I, I, I enjoy creating like graphics and videos to kind of promote my work, but I don't want to be doing this thing where I stick to a schedule and I have to post 23 days in a row, sometimes I have to post twice a day, just stupid videos of me walking down the street and lip syncing to my own song, or something that is completely uninspiring. The internet is flooded with videos like that. And I don't know, it just feels so demeaning and performative, not in a good way. So I completely agree with this. Like the fact that you have to go viral to make money and then once you do go viral, you can't make money off of your music because streaming services don't pay you anywhere near enough to kind of make a consistent living out of it. And so music is not the product that you are creating anymore. It's crazy that we think if you're lucky enough to go viral, which not a lot of people go viral, 
And it doesn't matter how high quality the content is or how you know, charismatic a person is or how great their music is, not everybody goes viral. There is a huge element of luck when it comes to that. And if you don't go viral, then you basically don't have a high chance of getting your music heard by a lot of people. But if you do go viral, you still can't make enough money to make a living off of your music alone, unless you are churning out just music, you know, at a very high speed, which doesn't really usually translate to quality music. But I'll get to that in a minute. So when you do go viral and people can consume your song for practically free, now you have to come up with other ways to monetize your 15 minutes of fame. So instead of focusing on making more music and being a creative person and being rewarded for that, now you have to be a million things. You are either designing merch or you are doing sponsorships, you're doing photo shoots or ad campaigns or whatever. None of those things that actually have to do with being a musician. To be honest, I feel like in a lot of ways that has hindered my own progress as an artist because I have been so occupied trying to learn all these different skills so that I can promote myself online. Like, I'm my own graphic designer, I'm my own video editor, I'm my own video director, I'm an accountant behind the scenes, I send out invoices and payments and there's so much that goes into being a musician and music itself has become about 20% of what a musician actually does, unless they have a team that does everything for them, which is usually not the case if you're an independent artist or if you're just kind of getting started now. And a lot of people will say, if you do have a song that goes viral, sure, you're not making a lot of money off of streaming, but you can make money off of touring, which is what James addresses where he says, touring is getting more expensive for most artists. And that is true. Like if you are going to tour with two band members with a backing track. Like, can you imagine how much that is going to cost you between transportation, setting up the stage and catering and like insurance and all these things, like so much goes into touring. So even if you do have a song and you want to tour, you really won't be making that much money off of it. And you're basically banking on the chance that this is going to get bigger down the line where you hope that it's gonna start generating money for you at some point. And then the whole thing about AI, where, you know, AI is producing synthetic music and it's gonna probably steal the work of a lot of artists that you have never heard of, who will never get a single dime off of their compositions because AI is just spewing out and churning out all these synthetic songs, just like, you know, it's done with photography and video. And the other side of that, which James mentions in his tweet is that since it's cheaper to produce fast synthetic music to drop on streaming every week to capitalize on the strength of the model, even that I think is outdated because Spotify just recently came out and they said that if you don't get a thousand streams on a song per year, you don't get paid for it. So for example, if I have a song in my catalog that has, that gets 999 streams in one year, I will not be paid for any of those streams. Isn't that insane? So even if I have like a hundred songs on streaming and each one of them gets 999 streams per year, I don't get paid at all because I only get paid once a song gets streamed 1000 times per year. That is nuts. And you want to know what the crazier part is, is that even if you do get paid, if you had a hundred songs and each one of them was streamed 999 times, that is 99,900 streams. You would think that's a lot of streams, right? But if you want to go by the average and you want to know how much you are going to get paid for that. So on average, musicians usually get paid anywhere between 0.001 to 0.007 dollars, which is an abysmal amount of money but on Spotify, I think it's like 0.003. So let's, let's assume it's like an average of $0.003. If you do get paid for your 99,900 streams, you make a grand total of $299.7 per year. <laughs> 
So yeah, streaming really does not pay well. And this is my fear that music is a career that is really truly at that end that you should not pursue full on unless you have connections in the industry, unless you have a creative team around you, unless you have like a business team around you that are pushing you forward. But even then, like these people need to get paid. Like how are you gonna pay them if you're just starting out? It is not fun being a musician in this time and age. It was never fun, it was always hard. And I know a lot of people will say that, yeah, but Spotify gives you exposure, TikTok gives you exposure. That is true. However, that exposure is now very limited because it is extremely saturated. So whose song are you going to listen to? There are millions and millions of songs out there. And I just read it the other day that there are 60,000, either 60,000 songs or 60,000 hours of new music uploaded to Spotify every single day. We don't have enough years in our lives to listen to that much music. Even if I wanted to listen to every single person out there, it's just impossible. These kind of statistics and these kind of numbers are what really bring me down sometimes because I just think, yeah, this is a, a freaking dead end. I honestly feel invisible most of the time. I feel like I'm screaming in space when it comes to my work as a musician. And even though I know I'm not the best singer, I know I'm not the best songwriter or the best performer or whatever, but I know I'm damn good at all those things. And I listen to my music and I know that it's of a certain caliber and that it's high quality and that, you know, it's, it's good music. I think I have enough self-awareness to know that my music is really good, but it's not really getting the attention that it deserves. It's a sad reality, but I wanted to share what my thoughts were on James Blake's tweets. And if you're still watching this far, thank you so much for tuning in. I would love to hear from you. What do you think? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. And you know, if you wanna support independent musicians, please hit that subscribe button and check out my music. I will leave a link to a playlist of all my music somewhere on the screen. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time.